Hi guys, it's Rob Ringy here. I, uh, I hope you're doing very, very well. Before we start today's video, I would like to have a little horseplay. Thank you for indulging that. Just, <laughs> just to set the tone. It's, it's okay. Um, so, today's video is six signs of high-functioning depression. High-functioning depression is a cat, well, not catchy, but more accessible way of saying dysthymia which is in the DSM, which is the, basically the, the Holy Bible or the Quran or the, or the Torah for the medical, mental health community, it seems, the professionals. It says if you suffer from low-grade depression for two years or more, you, cl you classify as having long-term high-functioning depression, assuming you are functioning and assuming you are low to medium to high-functioning. <laughs> um, Low-grade depression is an unfortunate term. It's not to demean or degrade any kind of depression. It's just the, it's the term used for regular depression that comes and goes, as opposed to chronic or long-term high-functioning that stays and stays. Uh, there are no peaks and troughs with the, with the <laughs> constant high-functioning depression. Uh, there are troughs um, and lots of nasty-looking pigs around, not to this pigs. Um, not to criticise pigs, not to demean pigs, not to demoralise pigs, not to slander pigs, not to add to their already extreme weight. So, uh, dysthymia affects your sleep, it affects your appetite, it affects your libido, um, <laughs> you're chronically fatigued because of the, because of the lack of sleep. Um, one sign of it, well, other signs of it are like Everyone struggles to concentrate from time to time, but if you struggle to concentrate on watching TV or a simple bit of schoolwork or a simple bit of a simple email to your grandma or your mum or your son or your sister, you know, um, that could be a sign of it. Um, number five, do you have unhealthy coping mechanisms? Like smoking loads, <laughs> smoking loads of crack or smoking loads of cigarettes or abusing people on Twitter, or leaving nasty YouTube comments, or, or whatever it is, you know? Chronic over-drinking, chronic under-drinking, chronic over-eating, chronic under-eating. Uh, too, much, too much social media use, too, too much video games, too much masturbation, too much reading of the same book over and over again, too much stagnation of some kind, too much variation of some kind, too much travel. Um, I'm going a bit off. Okay, six, science six of high function depression is constant worry and rumination. I guess, I guess that's quite a self-evident one. Um, anxiety is linked to depression, which is linked to derealization, depersonalization, dissociation, <laughs> sorry, the crow just swooped in a moment. Uh, they're all linked in this nasty kind of cycle. Life seems to be full of cycles, doesn't it? Um, when you pay attention, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, on a slight side note, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, a French, <laughs> brilliant French author and thinker and, and person in the 1700s in France, was very viciously and ruthlessly and unfairly, because he was ahead of his time in terms of kindness and warmth and compassion, uh, although he was a bit romantic and idealistic, as you might expect of someone with those traits, but viciously exiled, viciously slandered, condemned, lived out all his life in solitude, have to give up his kids for adoption, which Stephen Moore knew criticised him for, but yeah, uh, Jean-Jacques Rousseau gave up his children for adoption because Jean-Jacques Rousseau was public enemy number one. Okay, he was Tommy Robinson, or Osama Bin Laden, um, and he lived out the rest of his days in solitude. Anyway, he said it took him to the age of 80-something to be able to not worry about what was going to happen tomorrow and fall asleep. <laughs> and his only activities really were walking and botany. Not to dismiss either of those things, because flowers are amazing things, as you particularly appreciate, so I've heard if you, if you take LSD. Um, <laughs> amazing creatures, I should say. Can, communicating with each other and can, talking on the ground. Okay, guys. If you can relate to any of, <laughs> to any of this, including if you're a botanist, um, if you can relate to any of the six signs of depression, which were, let's go with them again... Cancelling social situations, 
being irritable and desirous of conflict, being constantly tired, struggling to concentrate on even the, the most simple basic tasks like what, uh, watching TV, unhealthy coping mechanisms, and constant worry and rumination. If you can relate to those, <laughs> or the bottom, please reach out, please leave comments. Um, people do suffer in silence over stuff like this, I know. Um, tell me your story. I, I want to hear it, although it's, they're often heavy. Uh, <laughs> um, but the engagement is what makes this fulfilling, you know. Um, so just one more note on high-functioning depression. It, for two years, these symptoms have to occur. So if you're, 20, if you're 23 months and 29 days into your depression, you don't count as a high-functioning long-term depression, assuming you're functioning <laughs> on a low, medium, or high level. Okay, guys. Peace to you. Please like the video, thumb thing, and, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.